All right, let's go to the lab conduct. Sometimes you may need to look beyond the screen. All right. Not sure what we're doing with this one. All the old equipment. they have for us in this part two. This is subject 12198623, new session entry. We have myself, Dr. Alexander Leading, assisted by Dr. Williams, and in the lab itself, our volunteer, Mr. Asian. We have artifact 23 in the chamber, recovered from crash site B. At the moment, it appears inert, showing no signs of activity. Mr. Asian, instructions for each stage will come through to your terminal, and we need you to follow them exactly. Now, some of this may be unfamiliar, so always reference the manual on your terminal for guides on calibration and procedure. Once you've calibrated equipment to match our brief, the green light will flash, allowing you to trigger the experiment. One last thing. Ensure that any equipment non-essential to the current experiment is switched off. You cannot proceed until your calibration matches ours. When you're ready, let's bring this back. Okay. All right. Experiment. Subject J1986. MEM is enclosed in solid hour layers. Outer layers. X-ray the artifact to determine the internal structure. Okay, so... Manual. X-ray. Required apparatus, camera, monitor set to X-ray, charge, CC86 X-ray device. Um... Monitor is set to X-ray? look this way uh, is there any way to look press the keys bracket at the top menu to move between pages press tab to roll over the test chamber at the chamber use your mouse cursor to select and interact okay so tab oh okay is that the x-ray are you kidding me okay camera monitor set to x-ray okay so that's x-ray charge cc86 x-ray device Is that the charge? No. Uh, sync master. don't get what that is. Variable laser degeneration unit. Am 
100 of setbacks, so I charge CC 86 X ray device. I've got a set to XR. Charge the X ray device. What is the X ray device? That's gonna get turned off. That's gonna get turned off. Okay, so I've got it charged. Next for the artifact. Oh, there we go. Okay, good work. The x-ray is coming through now. Okay, took me no a little bit. visible damage to the surrounding organic material. Uh, no signs of activity either. All output is flatlined. Okay, let's begin. What are we beginning? Okay, experiment two, surface reaction attempt. Demonstrate the effects of the laser light on the object. Try using low powered red laser to begin with. All right, so we need to do the laser light. Red is 650 NM. Required apparatus, laser two light generator. So we need to set it to 650 NM and the monitor needs to get set to RGB. Monitor needs to set to RGB, so that's the first one. Okay. There's that. Turn that on. Oh wait, wrong one. 650. Oh, okay. I get the feeling something ain't gonna no be happy. From first stage. Let's Looks like a heart. Frequency. Let's try a higher frequency. Use the green light. Green is 510. I don't think this is going to be happy. I really don't think it's going to be happy. Okay, we have a reaction of some sort here, a weak signal. Am I trying Let's to kickstart this heart? Increase again. What? Use the blue laser. It's 455. Okay. I told you I was kickstarting well, a motherfucker's heart. Would you look at what? That? It seems we have a problem. What are you doing, doctor? Stable, no activity registering in the core. It's possibly damaged. Let's push further. No, don't push further. Don't push further. Test the acoustic resonance property of the object. Begin with generating 250 hertz sin wave with the amplifier gain set to one. 250 hertz sin wave with the amplifier set to one. Okay. Required apparatus. 
signal generator set frequency and waveform. So we need to set it to sine and we need to set the gain to one. Okay. That gets turned off. That gets turned down. That's fine. And we need to set the gain to signal generator amplifier set gain. I set it to one. Um, how in the world? That's a five. does look like a one, right? Why is this not working? Amplifier set gain. Oh, go back, go back. Okay, begin with generating 250 hertz sin wave. Set this. Higher. It's going to take me forever to get to 250. Come on. If you are ever unsure of what to do, reread the experiment and consult the manual. I'm getting there. The if you could turn this dial faster. Alright, come on. Wow, it's taking forever. Okay. I just... Alright. We're getting there. Slow and steady like a tortoise. 150, 160, 70. Ninety, two hundred. Oh, we're almost there. The last little stretch. Two hundred and fifty. 
go, 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 go. Alright. Fry that heart. Not much of a response. Uh, updating oh, experiment. Don't update it. Don't update it. 505. Yay, okay. Oh, there has to be a way to go faster than that. Be like a radio dial. You should be able to zoom all the way up and then all the way back. Come on, really? Go up. Eventually, we'll get to 500. Eventually. We'll see. I might be gray by the time we get there. I have to go get my hair dyed again. You might be gray too, but we'll figure it out. Alright, 315, 16, 17, I need to get to 500, <laughs> throw me a bone, people. I don't get it, it's so slow, so, so slow, crazy, crazy, let's go a little faster, I did not make this thing very fast, I understand it's supposed to be old, outdated equipment, but Come on. Come on. I could turn that dial in real life a lot faster. Let's go. Getting there. Almost to 400. Uh, I feel like this is just, you know, I think my life don't depend on it. Be kind of screwed. Real fast. Okay, now we're cooking. At least we're in the 400. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. A little bit more. A little bit more. Almost there. Come on. Somebody turn the dial faster. <laughs> oh, if only it was that easy. Alright, so, anyways, if you're just tuning in, hi, welcome, 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 checking out the new, um, this game off of Epic Game Launcher, it's free for the next two weeks, it's called Stories Untold, we finished the first story, it's kind of very retro, um, it is a retro feel, there's four mini stories, Oh, come on, go to five. Mr. Ishii, please refer to the manual if you're having I got any it. difficulty I got it. the equipment. I got it. My God, you're impatient. Seeing some fluctuations in activity. Should we retreat? Do the risk of dying? What about the volunteer? Oh, I'm guessing I'm the volunteer. Okay, we're going to push further. I'm running out of time. Let's switch around. Uh. So yeah, this is all completely retro games. The very first one, um, the abandoned house, you're, it's all text-driven. You have to type out everything. You want to go upstairs, you have to type go upstairs. You want to go into a room, you have to type go into a room. It basically brings you back to early 80s when games were just starting out there were no pictures to them it was all text and it was all you had to drive everything with simple commands okay so what did i switch to square wave oh okay so i need to figure out what square wave is Square wave is the top one. And as the games evolved, then you got into more of these type games. We're seeing good activity on this side, seeing definite spikes in movement. I know this might seem uncomfortable or dangerous, but you need to trust us and keep going. I don't 
want to keep going because I know it's going to end badly for me, but we will press on. I better get Hazard pay for this. Okay, test the acoustic resonance properties of the objects, maintain the gain 5 and the square waveform, bring the waveform frequency up to 1 kilohertz. So, we need to... Oh, 1 gigahertz. Alright, let's... Uh... I have no idea how the hell to do that. Oh, okay. Stupid. I guess I gotta do this again. <coughs> I guess I need to bring it up. I'm agitating that heart, by the way. I know this is gonna end badly. I think it's gonna, like, come alive and eat me, maybe. It just, I don't have a good feeling about this, but we'll get this thing up to one, one killer slowly. Like they couldn't have given me a faster way to do this. I just don't get it. But other than that, I'm really enjoying kind of like the, the throwback to simpler gaming and earlier days of gaming. The um, soundtrack on the first one was pretty cool. <coughs> think old 80s synth wave. Um, yeah. I think I'm, I'm digging it. Might be a little bit slow for some people. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you're in the age range of remembering back <laughs> to the 80s and the beginning of games, you would definitely get a kick out of this. And then, of course, the younger generation, too, because then you can be like, really see what the struggle was. I know. <laughs> How you doing, Land? What are you up to tonight? This is totally throwback. It literally is. Like, the very first one you missed, it was all text-based. Like, typing out, Open door. Go upstairs. Enter my room. <laughs> it's like... All the things that you had to do to get somewhere in a game. But it's fun. It's neat. Oh, you just finished with Fork Stream? I didn't even realize that he was streaming. I got kind of behind on stuff. So I literally was, I jumped on here right before I went live. What was he up to over there? I keep missing his streams. I feel bad. I've been able to catch Tubbies and stuff, and I can't catch his. He's going to think it's personal. Did you um, do a short stream tonight? Oh, Division 2 and doing trivia? Okay. Usually he goes for a couple hours. Did he start earlier today for or something? Or did he just go later? You know, just kind of short? Please refer to the manual if you're having any I'm not having details, difficulty. This thing is not going very fast. This is not going very fast. I'm going as fast physically as the game allows. Okay, so he must have started really early today. Because usually he's on about the time that I start streaming, because we always end up kind of conflicting. A visual sork. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be really mad if this is not the correct piece of equipment I'm supposed to be doing this to. I think it is. So Saturdays he starts earlier? Okay, I'm basically doing this experiment. So I'll tab over to the, the manual right now. So I have to test the acoustic resonance properties of the object. So I have to maintain the gain of 5 and the square wave and bring the waveform frequency up to 1 kilohertz. So that's kind of what I'm trying to do is get this up to 1 kilohertz. Except it's very, very, very slow. I if oh, motherfucker. Okay, I guess I just needed to go higher. Okay. Here I was being all stupid. Oop, I went too far. Oop. 
now I need to go slow and I'm going fast. I'm like, Ricky Bobby, go faster. <laughs> 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 Oh, I blew the heart up. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. <laughs> Productivity. <laughs> we did it. Can you hear us? I can hear you. You've made excellent progress. You're doing great. Now we need you to stay calm and try to relax as we go through these. <gasps> um, is he got the camera to, to alleviate? Oh my God! Problems. I just did that to myself. I think I just did that to myself. If you look at the way the camera is facing, that camera is facing out, and I'm an idiot. I think I just did this to myself. Because, like, the old camera equipment, I would think... Uh, let's see if I'm right. I don't know. I just, I think I just blew myself up. The protective casing is off. Proceed till the drill surfaced. Okay. So, to drill... We need to switch the drill on, ensure all other equipment except the camera and TV are switched off. When ready, trigger sync master as normal to begin the drill insertion. Okay, this is not gonna feel good. I gotta turn this off, I gotta turn this off. Turn the drill on and hit the sync master. Oh, this is not gonna feel good. Oh, why do I feel like, oh man, I'm nervous. <laughs> How do you feel? <laughs> Don't be scared. We have the situation under control. <laughs> Take a few moments, and when you're ready, we'll continue. How do I feel? I feel like I'm killing myself or something. Make contact with the artifact. Open the test chamber. Why do I have to do it? Okay, safety instructions. Use safety goggles and gloves at all times. I guess I should have thought of this beforehand. Do not leave the container unattended during experimentation. It's extremely dangerous to handle any items within the container. Please ensure your next of kin is updated at HR. As per your agreement, follow all instructions <laughs> exactly. Lovely. Okay. Ooh. All right, I've gone this far. I might as well open it up. How do I open it? Okay. Stay calm. You're doing fine. Don't be afraid. Um. The hell? Sorry to have to do this, but we have to know. Don't do it to me. Don't. And what the hell? This must be. No. But you can do this. No, I can't do this. It's time to remember. Is it? Is it too late? Can I say no? I think it's too late. Oh, I'm guessing this is the part with the epileptic seizures. If you have seizures or epilepsy, I would say look away because this probably would trigger something. Yeah, it is weird. And we've got two more games to go. I, I, I don't even know. I don't even know. What is going on? Can I look away? I can't even look away. <laughs> I can't look away. Oh, Carol Ann, just go in the light and get it over with. Um, the first one took me maybe half an hour to do. Um, I'm about, I think I started this one at the top of the hour. They're very short stories, kind of. Um, but this is kind of getting to the annoying point now. Oh, shit! Okay. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I hit a button. <laughs> you, now. you have a connection to the entity's inner core. <laughs> It can show you its memories. Look into it. The visions will translate onto the screen to be something that you can understand. That you can play out. New data connection ready. Okay, let's go. We're going in. 
trippy shit right there. That is some trippy shit. I wake up in the cryopod struggling like, struggling against gravity. Force yourself up. Impact into the planet's surface you is can a hole in this ship. Use the computer. Work your way through. Okay. Impact into the planet's sur planet surface is torn a hole in the ship's hull. Poisonous atmosphere spills into your craft. You're in grave danger. You have to get out of here. So we're going to leave the ship. Memory action unavailable. It is, but it's it's the old style, like 80s games, where you literally have to, if you need to go outside, you go go outside. And if that's not the correct command, then you have to go like walk outside and try to figure out which which version it is to get um to get going. Uh, let's try to get up. Memory action unavailable. Stand up. Memory action unavailable. Um, if you wanna, if you've got input on how to get out of here, go for it. Um, I will try any kind of input term. Uh, leave ship. Memory action unavailable. Sit up. Sit up. Memory action unavailable. Command not recognized. Walk. Memory action, walk outside. Um, open cryo pod. Memory action unavailable. Leave cryo pod. Memory action unavailable. Um, have to get out of here. I don't... Let's just try and leave. Leave. Nope. Crawl. Open hatch. Oh! The airlock door is clamped shut. It's controlled remotely. Use remote. Look doing good um use control oh how did I spell it right <coughs> use control use remote nope retrace the steps Mr. Asian Pick up Explore remote. Type your commands into the computer. Look for a remote. Look around. Oh, okay. The craft is broken beyond repair. There's wreckage all around. An airlock door is locked tight in a computer terminal adjacent blank. Look computer. Monitor blinks demanding attention. The system looks unusable. Or it looks usable. Shall we use the computer? You tap the screen and the airlock door sputters to life, slowly opening with a horrendous noise. The ship powers down to silence, having spent the last of the reserves. Go outside. No. Walk outside. Leave ship. Ideas? Walk outside. Leave ship. Look. Airlock. The 
airlock has been opened. The noxious atmosphere pours in. Enter airlock. Memory action unavailable. Um. Look, shit. Look around. Craft is broken beyond repair. There's wreckage all around. The airlock door is locked tight. Computer terminal is now shut down. They're no longer powered to the ship. Um, leave airlock door. Enter airlock. Enter door. Go outside. Walk outside. Um, leave. Walk. Go outside ship. I don't have a clue either. Um, Shut down and make some of the last of the energy open. Look remote. Use remote control. Um I am like Has already unlocked. Open airlock. This organ oh. was taken from what we think was the leader. Okay, so open the airlock. These okay. Are different and unlike the others, there's more detail here. Let's New data it. connection. Lean in. See what else is hiding. Oh, really? I better get hella hazard pay for this. <laughs> you squeeze through the damaged airlock and fall to your knees on the ground next to your vehicle. Every breath brings pain to your chest. This is incredible. Are we getting all of this? Describing the moment we found the ship. Mr. Asian, please continue. You look around to see you're surrounded by mangled metal. Bright lights pour through every gap in the surrounding wreckage. Um. Stand up. Um. Get up. Look around. A crash site. Smoke billows from down ship. Exterior lights flicking on and off. Wreckage surrounds you. Look up. Looking upwards, you see unfamiliar star patterns. Um, look. Wreckage? Wreckage surrounds you. Some of the metal will have to be moved in order to free yourself. Move metal. With every ounce of your remaining strength, you move away enough of the wreckage for you to carefully crawl through. The light that surrounds you now attacks your senses. Can we now stand up? Crawl. Um, uh, crawl away. Hey, Tiny, how you doing? Um, crawl. Crawl out. Crawl away. Carefully. Crawl through. No. Carefully crawl. Um. Look around. Circle artificial light surrounds you, set up to illuminate the crash site in the darkness. Behind them, an army of people all staring. 
One figure steps out of silhouette and walks towards you. So how you doing, Tiny? Um, walk. Stand up. Um, gosh, I don't know that are many people all staring. Look around. That did absolutely nothing. So this is in a game in the style of, like, old school. Look bigger. Silhouette is bipedal and bulky. Some sort of mask covers its face. It beckons you to approach. Beckons you to approach. Approach slowly. Approach slow. Yeah, look around into default action. So how do we get to the bipedal, bulky, mask-covered face? Um... Walk forward. It's all input commands, so I don't know. Um, move forward. Move. Yeah, I tried the move forward. Forward. forward crawl crawl forward Let's see can we look can we look in this again give me another hint give me another hint oh no i just clicked the game off but Give me another hint. Hint me. Um. Approach finger. Oh, okay. Your heart rate is elevated, but you're doing well. Well, yeah, For this is a pain in the ass. <laughs> oh, that's comforting. That's really comforting. You know that they don't make it very far, and yet you throw a sister to the wolves. Okay. I'm guessing we're in Area 52? Some kind of freaky Roswell crash? Maybe? We awake the room is silent only for the quiet hum of equipment and occasional machine beep your touch isn't yours we are all as one we move together in unison um move look around we are in a bed in a small and artificially lit room with a single door there's some sort of writing pinned to the wall Adjacent is a display monitor this with wires. We didn't put this entity in quarantine. It expired at the crash. Whose memories are these? When did this happen? So apparently somebody, uh, yeah, was experimenting. Um, let's look at the writing. If we can. 
Much writing. Stuck together are a series of flat sheets with symbols across them. Some sort of writing. Um, let's display. Really? Let's monitor. The screen didn't give anything away. Flashing symbols and what could be numbers in rhythm. Remove wires. Oh! What just happened? What's that alarm? I don't know what the alarm is. Oh! <gasps> We're connected to something in the other room. We yank at the wires protruding from our chest. Together we all scream in pain. The action sets off an alarm echoing loudly down the adjacent corridor. Wow! Okay. So what we're doing is affecting the alien in the other room. Can we get another can we get another view here? Can we get another view? Can we get another view? No. Stand up. Alright, I'm totally freaked out. <laughs> Um, look, wires. A series of wires leave the machine and run across our chest, attached in different places. We aren't sure if the black fluid is going in or coming out. Collective discomfort. Um, turn off machine. Sit up. Stand up. Sit. Leave room. Okay. Hey, we're controlling an alien. How does that feel today? It's not a memory. It's happening right now. Mr. Haitian, I need you to stop what you're doing, please. No, I don't think so. I think we're going to see this to the end. Shall we start an alien revolution? What do you think? I think it serves them right. Oh, are we outside? Looks like a car, maybe. Oh! I don't know what that was. Somebody's face. Through the door, we find ourselves in an empty room with a device on the table. It looks familiar. They don't know how it works, but this host does. The door closes behind us and locks clamped shut. We are alone together. Okay, so it's in the room with us. It's some sort of preparation room. There are markings on more sheets of the door and a window on one side. The door we came through has been locked shut. The other door had an orange alarm light above it. In the center of the room, a table holding only a small device taking, taken from your, it, my, our ship. Look, device. It was an access code terminal for a wide connection allowing commanders to commandeer other hosts. Only you, I, we have access to the codes. It's time to use them. What is that? Arrow keys up, down. That arrow keys left, right. Oh, change it's glyph. It's using the tool we recovered from the crash site. It's in our systems. It's sending something across the network. It's broadcasting. Uh. <laughs> Mr. Asian, please. We deeply regret what we have put you through, but please understand it was for the greater good. We had to know more. Rebelling now could be catastrophic. We don't know what this might do to you in the long run. Arrow keys, left, right, change glyph, up, down, select row. How do I... the do we match the symbol um any ideas is it supposed to be this one
have no idea what I'm doing. I thought it might be something like this. What do you think? Ah, uh, they expect me to read some kind of foreign language. Okay, so this will be row one, two, three, four, starting at the top. So you think we're supposed to match this right here, this line? Because it doesn't look like it's possible. Like, these are stagnant. I can't move those. I can only move these. Um, I have no idea. idea that tells me absolutely nothing. Can't even, they're going so fast. I can't even tell. Could you even see what that was? Well, that's what I was trying to do, was matching the ones to the left. But it doesn't quite use the code so we can move on to another story. <laughs> I might have to Google it. <laughs> I might have to Google it. I can't tell what that is. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to be following what that is. I can't even... I think that's the top one. And it doesn't let me go over... I don't know, I might have to Google it. Yeah, they don't match completely. Arrow keys up down, select row. Yeah, the only glyphs I can change are these right here. I might have to Google this. Can I match the changeable codes to the ones to the immediate left? No. These don't... Like this bottom row, these are my only choices on the bottom row. That's it. I don't get what we're supposed to be doing here. Like squiggly lines? I don't. Obviously that's not it. And that does no good. goes so fast. I don't know. Should I Google it? I hate to Google it, though. I feel like we should be able to answer this ourselves. I am completely at a loss, though. It's not even like it locks into place when you get it. Trying to match these? That's what I was trying to do, but they... It doesn't... Can I tab to a different...
Well, it's stupid that I can't change these. The second row. I don't know. I'm at a loss. And this guy's no help. That is absolutely no help. them to the far left row. Well, that kind of looks like it, right? That kind of looks like it, so it should... Enter? No. Why can't I change these? Because, yeah, I'm pretty sure I matched what those look like on that one row. So... I'm kind of stuck. And it's probably something really simple. so fast. I don't either. I hate doing this. I really hate doing this, but Google it is. Okay, I'm just going to look at the ones for this one. Establish link, hold the middle orb, use the computer to open the door, middle part of the orb, look around, silhouette, look around the reading writing, remove the wires, leave the bed. Okay, use the device. The, dev the display will show four pairs of glyphs and start with all the ones on the right looking like figure eight. Okay. So, they all look like figure eight. Leave the first one alone, go down to the second glyph, and move it right once. Okay. Go down to the next glyph and move it right twice. Go down to the final glyph and move it right three times. One, two, three. Okay, really? All right. Stay converging. It's over. I hate doing the cheat, but we were not going to get past that. <gasps> There's a whole bunch of these little orbs now. It's like Pokemon balls gone bad. Pokeballs go wild. Station. Please don't do this. We we mean you. We mean them. No uh huh. Problem. Please don't do something you'll regret. What? You mean something you'll regret. You never should have put me in that room to begin with. You did it to yourself. One day, Station. This will haunt you. Uh, I'm already haunted. <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> Once you got past that end part. Oh my gosh. Wow. I wonder how long it took the first person to figure that out. 
half an hour, an hour to sit there and and do that. 